Chris Hall, South Dakota Game Fish and Parks. Earlier this year, the South Dakota Game Fish and Parks Commission removed the river otter from the state's threatened and endangered species list and instituted a conservative trapping season for the river otter. The harvest limit of 15 otters is expected to fill rather quickly, so I sat down with regional game manager Brad Baumgartner to, dis to discuss how trappers can avoid incidental take of river otters. My name is Brad Baumgartner. I'm the Regional Wildlife Manager with South Dakota Game Fish and Parks out of Sioux Falls. I cover uh, the southeast corner of the state, which is called Region 3. I was uh, in the field for approximately 25 years as a wildlife damage specialist. And over the years, I've had a lot of different encounters with otters while out beaver trapping on some complaints. So I've learned a few tricks of the trade, how to avoid them, and maybe some of these tactics will work for you. The problem with uh, trying to avoid otters is they love beaver habitat. They love the dams because they trap the fish up there by the dams. So where you have beavers, there is a good chance if you're East River in the target zone of, of the counties listed for uh, otter trapping, there is a good chance that you're gonna find otters in those areas. The first thing a person should do is, is look around for sign. You should look around for scat. Otters do exactly the same kind of behavior like a raccoon or a mink would do, which they leave toilet stations up from the bank. Um, once you find otter scat and you verified it and you get that, uh, a whiff of it, you'll remember what it smells like. I would scan the area. I would look for trails coming up through the grass. Otters love to come up off the bank onto the trails. They like to have loafing areas. A lot of times they're under a tree and a lot of times that's where you'll find those, uh, those scat. Uh, another thing you can look for is fish on the bank. Otters are very opportunistic. Um, they don't target just your walleyes or your crappies or that. They, they target whatever is, is, is there. I would really study what a raccoon track looks like versus an otter track. An otter track um, looks a lot like a fox track. It's round and it has very sharp toenails where the raccoon is more of your finger uh, look to it. But it, to me, it does resemble like a fox track really close, just with a lot sharper toenails. So if you find yourself in a situation where these are the beavers that you want to target and there's otters in there, the best advice I can give you is to get in and out as fast as you can. Otters are kind of transit at certain times of year. So you'll find where they'll disappear for a while. You'll find where they'll just come back and they'll, they'll, they travel in bachelor groups a lot of times, they travel in family groups a lot of time. So if you're gang setting traps in an area with beavers, it may look clear be otters, and the next day you may find where you got otters like crazy in there, or you may have a window of a couple weeks before they come back. Um, so I guess that, that is one of my best, the best advice I can give you is if you have to trap that area where there are otters, go in and go out fast. Tried and true kind of bear. This is the most practical trap that a lot of people obviously like to use for a beaver. The thing is, this is a kill trap. And there is no forgiveness on this trap once an otter goes in there or a beaver. About the only ways that you could possibly avoid an otter is to either one, snip off one of these triggers, or two, move them all the way to the very side and wrap the wires and I would get them wrapped so they stay off to the side, giving the otter some room to swim through, where a beaver is a bigger, bulkier animal and he's more apt to set it off, versus the, the, the logic being the otter would torpedo by it. Another thing you could do is snip these two, or bend them, where it gives just a little bit bigger of a window for the otter to slip through up at the top if you were brave enough to want to set this upside down. I've snared several otters, and I've been able to release just about all of them, I think but one. And the only thing that happened in that case was, and this is what I'd recommend, is you have to search the, the area, the distance from the chain to all around the circumference to make sure there is nothing that the otter would wrap around, such as like a twig or a stake where they go around and around, and some people call those kill poles. Now obviously you wouldn't want to do a kill pole in an area where you're trapping or trying to snare beavers. That would be the only way they would probably um, end up getting seriously injured. Otherwise, for the most part, they will 
stay alive. Um, it's a pole set, and you take a very fresh um, stick, you sharpen it up, and you make it nice and green. Now this one's a couple weeks old, so it did dry out a little bit, but when you take, um, when it's fresh, it, it really shines a lot more, especially in the water. If you put this out in a deep water set, the, 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 uh, the logic being that beavers will be attracted to this, but otters will not because it is not necessarily on the bank. It has no lure associated with it. And this is what beavers like to see is this shiny um, stick material, different uh, woods that they like to eat. Willows, cottonwood, green ash. I think this is a cottonwood. So the beavers come and they swim through here or they swim through the snare. It is a little bit more difficult and a lot of people do this through the ice a lot of times, but it will work in open water. Um, Again, it's uh, it's it's it works well. It's not it's not the most practical set, but it does work. This is a set that I would highly recommend you do not use in an area where there's otters. And the reason being, while this looks like a big bad trap, it is a Bridger number five, which is a it is a huge trap. But a beaver back foot is about the size of the palm of my hand. So to target a back foot on a beaver, a lot of people do use this. They use it on a dam or on, on the shore and it's a drowning set. And again, anything you catch in this, especially with an otter, it would do some serious damage to an otter and it would drown the beaver and take them down to the deep water. I would totally avoid this okay, I'm gonna show you a way how to get an otter out of a foot trap or a snare if you happen to catch one. These boards come in very handy. We make these with a slot in them and a handle in there. So, if this trap stake represented the animal, and his foot is in here, what we're going to do is we're gonna take the shield guard, we're gonna put it so we can see his foot on this side. The animal is on this side, so you're protected, and this gives you time to get the trap off of his foot and let him go. Once the trapping season is closed, if a trapper catches a river otter incidentally, release the river otter immediately if possible. If the river otter is dead in the trap, leave it undisturbed and contact a GFP representative within 12 hours. For more information, search river otters on gfp.sd.gov.